Hi, Iowa. I've been fighting to restore sanity and force the nation's capital to operate with a more pragmatic and common sense approach that we know very well in Iowa. This week, we can finally move past the partisan drama that has had a stranglehold on DC for the last several weeks and roll up our sleeves to focus on the critical issues facing our country. I know you're busy, so I just wanted to give you a brief update on my work on your behalf. First, a nationwide shortage of nurses is hurting Iowa families' ability to get the care they need. In fact, 70% of medical facilities in Iowa are struggling to fill an open nursing position due to a shortage of qualified job applicants. The problem stems in part from the fact that nursing schools are limited in the number of students they can take on to help grow the workforce because of a shortage of nursing school teachers. We urgently need to improve the nursing pipeline, and that starts by addressing the need for more nursing faculty, especially in rural and underserved communities. That's why I just introduced the bipartisan Train More Nurses Act, which requires the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services to develop a plan to increase capacity in nursing schools. By addressing the nursing faculty shortage, we can train more nurses to fill critical health care positions. Second, every young person deserves a safe and secure environment to grow up in. I'm working across the aisle to increase funding for grants that provide services to prevent youth from running away, or worse, becoming homeless. The Runaway and Homeless Youth and Trafficking Prevention Act will extend basic services to vulnerable young people and empower them to realize their dreams for a better and brighter future, regardless of their previous experience. Finally, I want to take a moment to discuss an incredibly important issue, the fight to protect Social Security and Medicare. The government made a promise to retirees when they created these programs, and it's a promise that must be fulfilled. Frankly, I'm appalled by politicians in Washington, D.C., who are willing to sit idly by as these programs face a critical threat. As your representative in Congress, I am 100% committed to Social Security and Medicare. That's why I've introduced legislation to protect these benefits and will continue to lead the charge in the defense of Iowa's retirees. With that, I just want to say it's an honor to serve you. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I look forward to joining you and the kids this holiday week. Thanks.